John Paul DeGioia has had a unique career in the business world that spans three decades. He's the billionaire founder of Paul Mitchell Hair Products and Patron Spirits. He joins me now on set to share his thoughts on everything from the economy to entrepreneurship. And John Paul, it's great to see you. Thank you. So let's start off with the economy. You have you two big consumer businesses. Mm -hmm. What's your take on the state of the economy? Very good. Uh, it's a very good take and a very realistic take. When the economy went upside down, when you're into cosmetics like hair care or alcohol, your business never falls off. Mm -hmm. It kind of stays there. We were very, very lucky with Patron and Paul Mitchell because they're high quality products, so people want them. So we grew during the worst year, say 2008 through 2015, okay? But what's the economy like right now? Both Paul Mitchell and Patron sales have jumped two more points, which means that the economy is not only coming back, it's really coming back. And the way we look at it, judging from salon business, more people coming to salons, as well as the Patron sales, is people want to treat themselves. They want to treat themselves. One of the best signs that it is back. We forecast that for at least one more year, we have a real strong economy. Who knows what's going to happen after the elections, mm -hmm. but for at least a year, we've got a very strong economy and America works. I don't care what people say, America still works. We just want to make it better, but it still works. But what about overseas? There's a lot of worries about a slowdown in China, the world's yep. second large economy, and, and what sort of that could do to the rest of the economy. Certainly. When you take a look at overseas, Europe normally runs about six months behind us. Mm -hmm. Europe is not as stable as it should be, but it's starting to get back on its feet. China, and this amazes me at times, everyone's complaining because China's gross economic output may only grow five or six percent this year. Hey, we wish the United States grew five or six percent, so does Europe. So they still have an economy there. Yes, they're not gonna be as aggressive as they were before, but they're stabilizing things right now. Now, will that have an effect? It'll have a little effect. And unless they go upside down, which I don't think they're gonna do, it's gonna have very little effect. But that's going one year out. Everyone's trying to change right now. Longer than a year, I don't know for sure, let's see. But for one year, it looks pretty good stabilization-wise. In Europe, we're expanding there, as well as in Asia, we're expanding. So it looks pretty good. All right, I also want to talk about your incredible rags to riches story. You sure. lived out of your car at one point, you had yeah. multiple job losses. How did you get the strength to get through that and, and become a billionaire eventually? Well, when I started John Paul Mitchell Systems in 1980, inflation was 12.5%, interest rates uh, 17%, unemployment 10.5%, and we waited in line for gasoline in 1881. Our backer pulled out, needed half a million dollars. So we started with 700 bucks in my car. The way I got through it was I believed so much that what we had was so good mm -hmm. that if I put in the hands of enough hairdressers and they used it, they'd want to use it and recommend it to their customers because we had no advertising budget. And it was tough. It was hand to mouth for two full years, but we believed what we had was the best in quality if we could just hold off and hold off and hold off. And it was tough, but we held off. And Looking worked. back, what would, you, what would you tell the young John Paul DeGioia? For the young John Paul DeGioia or anyone going into a business for themselves or working with somebody else, there's two things you've got to do, the two biggest secrets to success, whether it's 80, 81, or today. One is be prepared, young entrepreneur, for a lot of rejection. Mm. People saying you're not going to make it, we don't like your idea, you're trying to sell them something, you're trying to put it, no, 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 no. Here's the key. If you know you're gonna get a lot of rejection, it's not gonna affect you as much. And you're just as enthusiastic on door number 12 when 11 were slammed in your face or door number 123 when 121 were closed in your face. You're just as enthusiastic about your product, you don't give up. The second thing is do what we did at Paul Mitchell, at Patron, Rock, as well as Obvio. Have the best quality possibly available so you're not in the selling business, you're in the reorder business. Your customer likes it so much they want to reorder, tell people about it. That's what I would tell the entrepreneur. Whether it's a service or a product, make it the best of the best. Let's talk about what's next for you. I know you're sure. involved in a new business yes, that aims exactly. to cure oh, cold boy. sores. Oh, yes. Treatment for cold sores, Obvio, A-U-B-I-O. How did you decide on this business? I mean, when you're evaluating something, yeah. what, what struck you as, as important in this sense? What struck me with this was the people that were working on it three years ago gave me samples. I gave it to people. And it's all plants. I'm into plants. Avapui was Paul Mitchell, great products. Mm. The best agave in the world was for Patron, great product. Where's well, another plant? They're plants for the United States. And we said it was plant-based JP, it really works. And I never had a cold sore, but people around me do. I started handing it out. Everyone I gave it to, it works. But they want me to conservatively say it works on at least 90% of all people that our blind studies show. But I could also say, because it's honest, everyone I've given to it works on. So you put it on and it's gone. It's, just, it's the most amazing thing. All right, John Paul DeGioia, thank you so much for coming by. We appreciate it. My pleasure, sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity.
I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.